We're now going to have a look at how to do acid-base titration calculations. So it's looking at a reaction between an acid and a base, uh, which is a neutralisation reaction. Um, and one of the reasons why we do titrations, uh, well, we can do it for many reasons, but one of them is to find out the an unknown concentration. So, for example, if we have an acid where we don't know the concentration of it, we will titrate it with an alkali where we do know the concentration and then we can do the calculations to work out that unknown concentration, which is what we'll be doing today. So if we are working with uh, solutions and we need to convert stuff into moles um, or work out concentrations and so forth, the equation that we use is this one. So it's moles equals concentration times volume. Um, just to remind ourselves of the units, volume must be in decimeters cubed. If it's not, make sure you convert it into decimeters cubed. And concentration is moles per decimeters cubed. Okay. Just to remind ourselves, if we've got something in centimeters cubed and we want to convert it to decimeters cubed, we just divide by a thousand. Okay. Right, so let's have a look at the question at hand. So the acid in this question is sulfuric acid and the alkali is potassium hydroxide. Now, out of these two, the one where we don't know the concentration, that is our acid. And that's what we want to work out by the end. OK, um, we don't know the concentration of our acid, which means we need to know the concentration of our alkali. Um, so this is the one with the known concentration. So this is 0 0.1 moles per decimeters cubed. Um, and because this is the one that we know the concentration of, uh, this is the one that we usually have in our conical flask. And therefore the acid is the one that we have in our burette. Um, and having this in our conical flask, we've had 25 centimeters cubed um, of that. And we titrate that with the acid and we find out that we need to add 25.7 centimeters cubed of our acid to um, fully neutralize our potassium hydroxide. So that's the information they've given us and we now need to work out the concentration of our sulfuric acid which we don't know. So the, where, the place where you should start is always a balanced equation in this reaction. OK, so this is a neutralisation reaction. So that's what I'm going to do first. So it's potassium hydroxide plus sulfuric acid. You make potassium sulfate, so your salt plus water. OK, and you then need to balance it. And that's very important that you do. So therefore, that is our balanced equation. And what that shows us is that two moles of potassium hydroxide react with one mole of sulfuric acid. And that's very important uh, when it comes to um, the molar ratios. OK, so um, first step is working out the moles of the substance that you know the concentration for. OK, and that's our potassium hydroxide. So we've got the concentration. We've got the volume. So all you do is concentration times volume to give us our moles of potassium hydroxide. So moles of potassium hydroxide equals concentration times volume. So in this case, the concentration is 0 0.1 multiplied by the volume. Now it must be in decimeters cubed. So you just divide that by a thousand, which is 0 0.025. OK, so that then gives us our moles, which is... 0.0025 so they are our moles of potassium hydroxide okay we now want to work out the moles of our sulfuric acid okay and we do that using our balanced equation we know the moles of potassium hydroxide which is that so all we do is we look at the molar ratios which is two to one so two moles of potassium hydroxide react with one mole of sulfuric acid so therefore, we divide this number by two to get our moles of sulfuric acid. OK, so we do um, the moles of potassium hydroxide divided by two. And that should give us 0 0.00125 moles. OK, right. We now have the moles of sulfuric acid. 
we have the moles of sulfuric acid and we have the volume of sulfuric acid. So we can now work out the concentration. I'm just going to make some space on this board. Uh, so we just remember that number. So moles of sulfuric acid was 0.00125. And the volume of sulfuric acid is... Uh, we convert that into decimeters cubed, so 0 0.0257. So all you do is you rearrange that equation to work out concentration. So concentration equals moles divided by uh, volume. And all we do is 0 0.01, oh, 0 0.00125 divided by 0 0.0257. And that gives us... Zero point zero zero four. We do this to three significant figures, eight, six, and the units for concentration are moles per decimeter cube. So that is our unknown concentration um, of our sulfuric acid.